we've been charged with doing more experiments quicker, faster, um, and having test beds that are ready and can transition from one experiment to the next uh, is going to be a real big challenge for us. The user-centered uh, remote testing operations is focused on building a uh, thrust area that will allow the company and organization to be more effective at supporting our customers in developing the test beds and conducting experiments at the test bed. So for the first area, we have to focus on us because we are ultimately the users of our test beds. Um, but then we also have to incorporate our laboratory partners and the DOE enterprise in allowing them to be able to come on site and be able to conduct the experiments in an operations mode, but then also having everything there and capable so they can be successful in their experimentation. We also have uh, the data management and the data acquisition of being able to have real-time access and real-time feeds so that our customers can not only uh, be a part of the experiments, but they can do it remotely um, back at their offices because traveling out here isn't always um, the easiest. And then the scientists, they want their data immediately. So we're working on developing mechanisms to be able to do those data shares uh, quicker and more efficiently. Uh, we also are looking at integrating the site-directed research uh, SDRD portfolios into these thrust areas and so having the ability to be able to uh, bring our fresh researchers in and let them participate in our test beds and do some of that uh, TRL1 research that is going to be key and critical for us to uh, establish a, a functional uh, thrust area that we look to the future and, and build up our younger scientists um, but then also reach out to the labs and uh, involve them in the development of these uh, capabilities. So as for the future of the site, um, again, uh, DOE has a lot of big ideas. Uh, they have a lot of uh, new test beds that they want to develop and implement at the site. And so we'll be the thrust area that leads those changes to be able to develop the test beds. So we have to look at you know, how do we staff appropriately? How do we bring in the right people to be able to make sure we transition between experiments efficiently and quick enough to be able to meet this new pace that we're being asked to, to work at? The national security mission is a key component of the NNSA. Uh, we work to be able to develop new detectors and new methodologies uh, and new capabilities to stay ahead of our adversaries. And so the user-centered um, remote testing and operations uh, thrust areas is pivotal to this to design realistic test beds that can really be um, applied outside of the NNSS complex and into the real world. Now we really want to take the site to that next level in the science and the technology and we need uh, a program or we need the ability to be able to focus on developing our scientists and so that's what the thrust areas are really designed to do. This is definitely one of the bigger uh, thrust areas because it encompasses incorporating all of our capabilities uh, to be successful in our experimentation. So it is a very exciting opportunity uh, to look at how we can build uh, the enterprise to meet the coming needs of the DOE. The test beds that we design are the real world test beds. They're not bench top laboratory experiments. It's to go out, do a full scale experiment. And the NNSS is critical to the NNSA to make that happen. And having that capability to do these large experiments really gives us that assurance that our instrumentation and our diagnostics are meeting the needs of the country.